Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, it's time for another installment of the Doctor Spell Prognosis. And today we're talking about the first level spell, Guiding Bolt. Another spell, three in a row, three days in a row. We're given an A. Solid A for Guiding Bolt. All right. Guiding Bolt can be used by clerics, Oath of Glory Paladins, and the Celestial Warlock, or through some feats that you can get. Um, it is an evocation spell. It's a first level spell. It takes one action. It has a fantastic range of 120 feet. It is only verbal and somatic components, and it has a duration of one round. That There's an asterisk next to that round. Um, and it does radiant damage. Another great type of damage type. So, a flash of light streaks towards a creature of your choice within range. Notice that this says a flash of light streaks towards a creature of your choice within range and does not say a flash of light streaks towards a creature that you can see within range. The, the, the phrase you can see does not appear anywhere in this spell. Make a ranged attack against the target. On a hit, it does 46 radiant damage. And on the ne and the next attack roll made against the target before the end of your next turn has advantage. Thanks to the dim light that is around them. Um, and then you can upcast this for another d6. So, what does all of that mean? Well, it means if you know something is somewhere within 120 feet, you cast this spell and it's going to go hit them. And you got to make an attack roll. Um, but, you know, if you got a good arranged spell attack roll, then, you know, you, you have a pretty good chance of hitting them. It's going to do damage. It's going to outline them. And uh, the next attack is going to be at, um, you know, at advantage. So um, does this work against invisible creatures? I would say that it does. If you know they're the creature that is within range... You roll an attack roll. Um, if there's a creature around the corner and you know that it's there, you can make an attack roll. Now, you may get disadvantage on an attack roll, but you will be making an attack roll. So, um, 4d6 radiant damage, great amount of damage. I think that's a fantastic amount. Plus, you can upcast it so you can turn this puppy into you know, a, a one target kind of fireball, plus it's got the after effect of giving somebody uh, an ad advantage on the next attack roll. Um, so if you were going to upcast this at fifth level, it would be doing um, 66 damage, which is almost, almost uh, fireball damage, but, um, but you have the after effect of the advantage. So, and you don't really have to see it to hit, to to be able to roll to hit it. So, all right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.